everyone, TFC Gasket Guru here, and welcome to another episode of Solutions. Now today I want to talk to you about QC testing for spiral wound gaskets. Now this is something for you as a distributor or end user, even internally here at TFC, here's some of the checks that we do on a regular basis for our gaskets. First thing you want to do, buy a copy of ASME B1620. It has all the dimensions in there, it has how many wraps, the welds, the color coding, all that kind of stuff involved in either spiral wound cam profile or RTJ or double jacketed gasket, all in here. Get yourself a good set of vernier calipers. So basically what you want to do is if you have a spiral wound gasket checking dimensionally, you can check the outside dimension of the centering ring, the outside dimension of the winding, the inside dimension of the winding, and also the ID of the inner ring. Also looking at the gasket, you see a color stripe which is listed in ASME B1620, or we can give you this nice handy little chart that you could stick on your toolbox, specifying the color. Yellow means 304 stainless, stripes at 9 degrees, these happen to be white, which signifies PTFE filler. Or we can do one better. This is the XMED 8000, it's an XRF technology, it uses radiation to measure the chemical breakdown or the chemical analysis of the metal. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm wearing my class one certification, have a radiation meter. I'm going to scan this gasket. Now I'm going to let this go for five seconds. It will stop. There you have it. 316, just as expected. So let's recap. Get yourself a copy of ASME B1620. Get yourself a good set of vernier calipers that are calibrated on a regular basis. And there it is. Easily you can do your own QC checks and ensure that the product that you're getting is, is what you expect. So there you have it. Until next time, keep the fluid between the pipes. We'll see you soon.